The uh, ACT Awareness Leadership Group is focused on really helping to tell the story about what ACT on Alzheimer's is. And that's a story of a hopeful, upbeat, uh, energetic group that's really focused on the very you know, uh, modest goal of turning every Minnesotan into a friend and ally who can make a difference in the life of a person living with, with this disease. Um, we are focused on trying to provide the communications tools that the communities need. And one example of that, I think, would be the example of communicating with a business owner who really has three ways where their, their lives touch this work. They have employees who are caregivers to people with Alzheimer's. They have customers who may be dealing with Alzheimer's or other dementia diseases. And they also have employees who may develop cognitive impairment. Uh, my name is Seth Bofelli. I'm with AARP Minnesota. And along with uh, Kathy Claremont with English Rose Suites, we uh, co-chair the Awareness Leadership Group. To assure that ACT on Alzheimer's is broad and inclusive in its reach, we have a cultural and linguistic advisory group. That group has provided feedback on various aspects of ACT on Alzheimer's, and some members are serving as a bridge builders to cultural communities to ensure that those communities are positioned to receive funding and support in ways that are most appropriate for them. While it would be nice to say that ACT on Alzheimer's is currently cultur is culturally specific, it is more authentic to say that we are on a learning journey with the people of various cultures regarding how broad-based collaborative can truly be inclusive and effective across cultures. I am Bobby Cordano from the Wilder Foundation, and I chair the Cultural and Linguistic Advisory Committee of ACT. <laughs> 